It's week three of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Packers and the Titans. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. By many accounts, one of the most underrated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee. And that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season. And a game they probably really need. I guess in no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, it's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. So here are the Titans ready to go on offense for the first time, and it's Will Levis, the 25-year-old at quarterback in his second season out of Kentucky. And I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game. It's all on me now. I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game. 0-2, oh but they're at home. I guess he's going to try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early. And yeah, this is going to be the team's first game. This has got this past the 35 to about the 37. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Levis now off of play action. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. And how many times throughout his career have we said DeAndre Hopkins with the catch and a first down, and he does it again right there. A strong first season in Tennessee, and now he's got some more help around him. So he expects to be even better and have more opportunities downfield. A short throw taken in by Conquo. The Titans had 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but now talking with them in the days leading up to this one, doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to plow ahead. They thought they had the right guys on the team and in the locker room. But they do have to start winning some games. Back to throw, it's Levis. He finds Hopkins complete. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Now Levis. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Folks, kick is good. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And what an incredible athlete with a cannon for an arm. And he's drawn comparisons to some of the best mobile QBs the league has ever seen. In addition, this is a young man who's learned from his mistakes along the way. 
prepares really well each and every time now. And he's got an opportunity to blossom in this system. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And here's Willis now off the play fake. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Willis to throw. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense, and now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Willis looking to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 23. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Here's Willis. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now Willis. Touchdown! A great play there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Packers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. First down, and it's Pollard again. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This defense for the Packers, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 64 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important they set the tone and showed that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Here's Levis. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hopkins. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down.
this sets up the throw here. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they are looking at a second and five situation. Again to Calvin Ridley, and he's got it once more. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Levis back to throw. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. DeAndre Hopkins from four yards out. And the Titans have retaken the lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in charge. Look at right side and it's intercepted. Picked up by LeGarrius Sneed. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. So here are the Titans to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Levis to throw it. This one caught by Ridley. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions or one thing. As long as we're there and have the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as they'll give to Pollard. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 70 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Here is third down and four. Levis looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Folk's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let him put some points on the board. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. This to Jacobs on the toss right. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks, giving the yard up to the 42. They work now on second and nine. They go play action with Willis. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. They'll wind up getting just a yard. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Willis from the gun on third down. There goes a deep ball in zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32, they had a 10-yard return, and it'll be Titan football. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And this is going to be the Titans first down as the tackle made at about the 38 sharp run there by Pollard and that's something Titans fans are expecting to see a lot of as the season unfolds. The Memphis native back in his home state eclipsed a thousand yard mark in each of his last two seasons with Dallas and Tennessee. They're hoping he makes it three straight by the year's end. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45 yard line. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Pollard again. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 13 yards remaining on second down. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquo. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Third down and one. Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the third to back receptions for him and it's another first down when an offense reads blitz doesn't matter where it's coming from tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback a hot route so to speak and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break that's his fifth catch yeah they've really been targeting the tight end and they'll send the tight end in motion here. They'll throw it again with Levis. Throw left side complete. That's Hopkins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Again, he'll drop the throw. Throwing the out route, finding Boyd for the completion. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Back to throw, it's Levis. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Chiga Kakro, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, 
presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Four cadets on the extra point, and the lead now stands at 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Packers with the football here late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Back to throw, Willis. Got his man, that's Luke Musgrave. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Dobbs. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. To throw, here's Willis. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Titans. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. So good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime matchup. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Packers offense and running back Josh Jacobs set to take over once more. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. On the ground, Jacobs will get the third quarter started. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Willis looking to throw it. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. To throw, here's Willis. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Titans offense had quarterback Will Levis ready to go to work once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him, and he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. So from the 37, here's second and nine. Now Levis. A short throw taken in by a Conquo. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. He'll drop to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. Now Willis. He finds his receiver, Watson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Willis now off play action. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. That's to Kraft, the tight end. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. There's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Willis looking to throw it. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Willis to throw. And that is incomplete here. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Luke Musgrave, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers have got it back to within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead will shrink to six. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Levis to throw it. He completes it to Boyd. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. 
Here's Levis. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Levis back to throw. And it's complete right back to Ridley. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. They'll run left with Pollard. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. His throw incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try not to stand before they're backed up even further. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. The Packers offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. They go play action with Willis. That is caught, shrugs him off. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Now Willis. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Back to throw, Willis. Completed out left to Dobbs. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Here's Willis. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Willis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. 
not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Willis looks to pass it here. To swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. They'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Willis will look to throw it. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 17-yard line. To throw, here's Willis. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they had it there so close to the goal line, a chance to take it across, claim the lead here in the fourth. Boy, that was a big, big mistake. It really was, and as much as I want to give credit to the defense for making the play, I do tend to agree with you. That mistake, that, that's a chance to go in and take, take the lead. I mean, you're in great shape, yet you don't take care of the football. But they'll be going over that like crazy in the upcoming weeks. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Levis. A short throw taken in by Aconquo. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. From the 35, here's second and three. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still second down. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Back to throw, it's Levis. Flushed out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. They'll come up first and 10 here. Willis to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop it for an eight-yard loss. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Here's second down. Now Willis. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. 
Here's Willis. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Throwing Willis. Steps away to his left. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Here comes second down at five. Willis, he'll look to throw it. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. Here's Willis. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Here now, second and goal. Willis to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Willis to throw. And he is in as they have tied it late here in the final minute of the fourth quarter. A very important extra point there, up and good. And that is going to put him on top by a point, and it sets us up for quite a finish. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a good kick pays off as he's only able to get this out past the 10-yard line. So Levis and the Titans now. Down 21-20, a little over 40 seconds to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Levis, he'll look to throw it. He finds his man, Pollard. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquo, and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Now second and four. Levis to throw. They'll drop this underneath to Potter. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they stop them with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Here's Levis. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. So here's Nick Folk in an important spot. This to almost certainly win the football game. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And folks, kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. Willis looking to pass it. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. They'll try again here, second and ten. Here's Willis. That's complete to Dobbs. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Here's first down. One final try for Willis. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for, but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And the final had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield. 
The one final shot, they couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, you already mentioned how they had a chance at the final quarter, getting at the midfield, gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for Tennessee, their end of the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for the Packers, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to two and one. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.